I can't get over this bond you have with this little stinky boy. They are kindred spirits somehow, and it is so unbelievably sweet. Basically, Dave wants to be where Jackson is pretty much all the time. If Jackson is home and Dave does not have access to him, he is not happy. You're okay. You're okay. Dave's obsession with Jackson started the day he was born. We rescued his mom about two weeks before she gave birth, and she decided to give birth on a futon. Dave was the first kitten born. Somehow, he almost managed to roll off the futon, and Jackson was there with gloves on his hands, ready to catch him. Dave's first act of life was to almost die, and Jackson came in and saved the day, and they've kind of been inseparable ever since. He's literally the happiest cat who's ever lived. The sheer depth of his devotion to a human being is extraordinary. Maybe it's because he doesn't have much else going on in his head that he has just so much room for love, but... What is he looking at? He falls, come on. Seeing ghosts again, buddy? He loves that man. Dave, I know I'm not Jackson. I'm very sorry. If I could just snap my fingers and, and turn into him, I wouldn't, because that would be creepy, but... Hey, baby, can I borrow the sweater that you're wearing? This is going to serve a dual purpose because it can also cover my hair. Cologne so that I smell like him. I'm going to put it on my skin. Commit to the bit. The sweater that smells like him. I got the cologne that smells like him. We need sound effects. In order to successfully impersonate a software engineer, you have to hit a keyboard as loud as you can. This is extra credit. Personally, I think this is very convincing. Let's see what Dave thinks. He is very choosy with his people, and like, his people are Jackson. I did not expect to have a cat usurp my relationship, but honestly, at the end of the day, it's so sweet. And I'd so much rather have a partner who is so loved by an animal. It's a very special bond that they have, and it's just so darling.